Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sean with a new topic for today. Uh, today's topic is mounting the expandable shad top case on our S1000XR second generation. So in the box, uh, I got uh, the top case, uh, the expandable top case SH58X and it's, uh, this uh, installation is applicable on the SH59X. Expandable because you can have it in a size large, 46 liter, uh, extra large 52 and double X 58 liter. So again, in the in the package, I got the top case and uh, backrest. I got the top case carrier with all the hardware necessary uh, to mount the carrier. And then we got the I had to purchase the shad uh, adapter kit because without this, I would not be able to mount it on the motorcycle. The adapter came with uh, four spacers, four screws. So in order to start the process, we need to remove some stuff of our BMW motorcycle. On the BMW, the, I have the luggage grid or the luggage carrier and uh, it has the luggage grid so I can mount a BMW pannier. But in my situation, I have to remove the luggage grid. And in order to remove it, it has four uh, covers right here that are covering uh, four screws and this is the luggage carrier grid from BMW we don't want this anymore now going back to the adapter from Shell I'm following the instruction by the way as for the instruction from Shell and the instruction of placing the adapter uh, the instruction of the adapter kit is available online. I'll put a link for it. And this is the installation of the top case carrier right here. So going back to the adapter, as per the instruction is to place these spacers right here. Like so. And there are two different set of screws this type of screw and there is the other type of screw and these are i believe four millimeter allen bolts you need to use four millimeter allen wrench so these flush one they're gonna go in the back and the round top they're gonna go up front i already added some loctite So for here, I'm gonna mount the round top screws with the washer and in the back, in the back, this one, okay. finished talking all four uh, screws uh, for the adapter now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the top case carrier okay um, the top case carrier I went through the process and I figured out where the plastic uh, bridle needs to be right and as you can see here these two screws they need to have some uh, locking nuts at the bottom and the top one this case, this adapter has uh, nuts uh, bolted in. So, but the reason why I chose, which is this part, this hole right here and this hole right here. So if we go from here, uh, front to back, so the first two holes, one and two, and then I'm gonna place it in and align it. The reason why, because this is the best place where I can have all screws into mounted on the adapter. Otherwise, you will have only two screws and you would not be able to fit all uh, four screws. So, again, here we have four screws and now here we have, these will take uh, locking nuts and here there is not already in the adapter. So, I am going to screw these two screws in. And these two screws here at the bottom, well, we are going to be using the locking uh, nut. It is, it takes a little bit of patience because it is in, you know, tight place, but nothing crazy or. So I already finished 
tightening up these the, these nuts right there, right? Uh, again, these are locking nut, and now I am going to uh, place the carrier uh, lid. So now it's time to mount the carrier lid. The carrier lid has two um, two clips, and these two clips are going to be inserted into these two slots right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, align it. There we go. And then there are four screws that needs to be screwed in. Okay, so I got all four screws for the lid screwed in. Okay, and now it's time to get the top case mounted on the top case carrier. You have to put the key in, turn it into the release mode. And then when it is in release mode, we're gonna go ahead and place it like so. It is in. And now coming from here, I am gonna pull the release knob and let it in. There we go. So now it is locked in its place, right? It is the case open. It is in open position. In order to open it, this lid comes off or pops out and that's the lid up so if you are stuck if you stop somewhere and you want to a coffee shop or you want to go grab a bite very simple you put the key and lock it or if you want to take the whole case with you because you're gonna you are not gonna be able to see the bike you press it open turn it into a release pull it out and then And then you can carry it wherever you want. So now, let's say you have your girlfriend or your wife or your partner, whoever with you, and then you get two hundreds, right? And you need more room because this is at set at the large size, which is forty-six liter. Now on the fifty-two liter, that's how it goes. There is two latches right here. One and two you pull these okay so this is extra large right i believe you can fit two helmets here let's give it a try this is helmet with the headset as well and this is the showy rf Oh yeah, definitely. Now, you need more room. You have a jacket, you have gloves, you have other stuff. So what you can do, you can go up one more size that is called the extra, double extra, extra large, and it is 58 liter. We're gonna unclip these red knobs, go up. Now we are at 58. So, there is one helmet, second helmet, and what do we have here? Let's see. We have some gloves, winter gloves, the ladies' gloves, and head mask or face mask, and etc. etc. I usually uh, I was able to fit in it. Um, leather jacket right from here one one of these jacket on the top of one helmet when I'm riding to work I used to be able to fit this jacket or this jacket in here with one helmet well again so that's all let me close it for you at the here we go and 
and then it's locked in. This is the double extra, extra large, 58 liter, and there is the 52 liter uh, at the extra large and 46 at the large. So that's all for today. I hope you liked the video and I hope this video was informative. Um, if you have any question, please shoot, uh, leave it in the comment and I will get back to you. Again, this installation applies to the SH-59X as well. So SH-58X expandable or SH-59 expandable. Thank you for watching and until next time.